Yeah, I uh, came out here to challenge the plate pong champion of Vi Vacation Bible School to a plate pong match. And as you can see, I have a small plate pong and the champion, where is he? He's, I know he's in the building there someplace. Uh, okay, there, there he is. Now, Jordan, go to the back of the room and I'm gonna serve my super, super duper ball to you. It is an invisible ball uh, to most people, but to you and I, we'll be able to see it. It can travel through walls and ceilings and all that. So if you're ready, here's a practice run before I deliver a real whooping to you. Here's a practice run, ready? Okay, got that? Hit it back to me. There you go. Okay, good. All right, so here's the deal. You think you're pretty hot stuff because you won the plate pong championship at Vacation Bible School. And I just want everyone to know that you're not as tough as you think you are. And the one secret thing about having a plate pong tournament with an invisible ball is you have to be very patient. So we are going to practice patience now when I hit you this ball. Ready? Here it comes. Okay, wait on it. Wait, wait, wait. Be patient. Don't start swinging too early. Be patient. Okay, you should be able to see it there now. That's it. That's it. That's good. Good one, okay, all right. <clears throat> now here comes my spitball. <clears throat> here it comes. <laughs> Folks, he's not gonna get this one because he's not patient enough. This ball can hang in midair. If you look around, you might see it kind of bouncing off of the ceiling in there, but it's just gonna hang and hang and hang, and he's going to, Wait a minute, how did you do that? You did not practice patience. Everything that our sermon is about today is about patience and you're not practicing it. If you're not gonna practice patience, I don't think that you should be able to play this game with me. So quit it, just to go ahead and sit down, you're done.